New at 6, a Metro East school district has a good problem to fix. Enrollment at Belleville East High School is growing and now they need more space. Megan Kernan joins us live outside the high school with a look at the proposed changes. Megan. Anna Mike, as a former Belleville East student, I know just how large this campus is. It sits on 76 acres with 20 buildings plus athletic fields, making it one of the largest high schools in the area. District officials are happy that enrollment is steadily increasing, but now it's become an issue to fit everyone. We graduated our largest graduating class in many, many years. Last year we had roughly 630 graduates, but I would say that we are we are getting to that point where uh, we're starting to get cramped. Belleville District 201 Superintendent Brian Menzer says it's a good problem to have at Belleville East High, but with space quickly shrinking, it's a challenge. When you combine it with a couple other factors we have on campus uh, with Things like uh, lowering instructional class sizes and increasing instructional programming, uh, it creates uh, instructional space issues. By reducing class sizes and adding many new student programs and athletic opportunities, it's requiring more space. Virtually every possible space that could be used for instructional purposes is being used on campus. We have identified some specific areas on campus that are being inefficiently used. Menzer says they're in the planning stages to renovate and expand the campus to accommodate the increase. It's a combination of renovation of existing structures and then replacement of a, a temporary structure that we have now and then perhaps the addition of some, some square footage that would include things like band, chorus, athletics, fitness, and wellness. Officials are also determining if a boost in the population plays into the enrollment increase. We're trying to get a handle on what's going to happen for years to come. Um, what is happening with students that currently reside in our community that are not of high school age and then trying to also determine where additional students are coming from. District officials say these new renovations and improvements could take a couple of years. Menzer says they're searching for funding that doesn't burden taxpayers. Live in Belleville, Megan Kernan, Five on Your Side.